this thing needs reboot every time now that I come in here. Fucking piece of shit. So all the computers here are Mac, but the OS is Debian. While we are waiting for things to reboot, first of all, Happy New Year. Sorry for a late New Year vlog. And I think from now on, the vlog is going to be more useful for me than if it is entertaining for you. Because every time I take videos of me doing shit in the lab, it just stays in the backup drive and it never goes out anywhere. So to make things easier for me to look up later, I'm going to start vlogging me actually do things in the lab. And might not be so understandable to others, but that is just how it's going to be. So today, 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 today. So the calibration between the LO fast output and the PCT mod of the TTFSS doesn't agree. So I'm going to try to inject another line where I know that the transfer function is flat and I know how much I should be expecting. I mean, it's the same measurement really and they should agree. Uh, but before I even get to that, I have to align uh, beam to the homodyne on the other side. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is to lock things up and oh actually step zero what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna try to get the LO power up right now the LO power uh, the LO from the PSL LO coming all the way from the PSL way over there is uh, pretty low right now we only have one milliwatt into the feed through on this table over here and after going through a feed through a coupler and another coupler and another feed through we lost like we just we just lost too much i think i'm left with uh, a few microwatts by the time it gets to the other side so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the uh, psi LO fiber out of the feed through and directly no i can't take it out no i can yeah, yeah i can so i'm gonna take the psl LO fiber out of the feed through and the fiber that feeds used to feed the PSIL load to the other side. I'm just gonna hook them up directly. So Harry drew me a nice diagram of what he thinks should happen and I agree. It's quite nice. So instead of all these connections we're just gonna shorten it out to this little guy. Yep. There we go. Well that's not a square. That's not a square. I was told that the square one works better. Round. Round. Oh, there we go. This is a hack. This is, this is when we were trying to hack the uh, photodiode coupler. I guess we can use this one. Oh, sketchy, sketchy. So, we're still missing a bottle of... Uh, oh, I'll be back. There we go. Now we are ready to clean this in-air fiber feed through and mm, how is this work? I've never used this thing before. So we ordered this from Thorlab. It's called Stickless Connector Cleaning Sticks. Uh, tip can of blah blah. Press button to fill the orange cap well. Uh, what? Moisten the tip? No, wait, I don't need... Wait, what? Uh. Uh. What am I supposed to do with this? What the fuck is going on here? Hollow. What is this? That's a plastic. What is plastic? Oh, oh, the white thing is a tip. Oh, it's so it's so hard. I thought it was plastic. You're supposed to moisten it. All right, there we go. Here, and this thing goes in here. Blah. Okay, that's pretty wet. 
Now take this out, take this out. I think that's how it is supposed to go. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That totally doesn't feel clean at all. This is PSL elbow. And that goes up, up here, and the beam coming out, pew, and then go around to that other fiber coupler elbow. So it goes in and go out to that patch panel up there and goes over him six to the other side of the table. So we're gonna take the fiber, the outside of feed through, and two of them just connect them like that. So there will be no more light coming onto this table. So we're gonna save the loss due to coupling efficiency here and coupling efficiency there and the loss through the two feet through. So I hope we can 30, at least 30% of the power just by doing that. Got the fiber microscope here. I can only inspect one fiber, the one that doesn't have any light coming out of it. So. Very carefully. I'm gonna wipe it in thicker shape and move it to a new place every time I'm done. That's it. Try again. Okay, much improved. Seems I just cleaned it. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take the fiber out and directly put it in the feed through. So to pull the fiber out of the microscope, you just have to pull out straight out. So make sure this little notch here line up with the coupler so you don't have to twist and turn around so much just to get the fiber inside. So I'm releasing here Why PSL arrow fiber is out. I'm going to run a thicker shape here. And I just hope that it's clean. Alright, now the most important part is to find out if we have a transmission at all. Hope that everything goes well here. Looks like we have just a lot more of alloy. Let's see what's the maximum we can get now. Okay, we can have 0 0.37, 0.38 milliwatt max. That's good. I think there is something to be gained still by adjusting. Uh, oh shit, I was gonna adjust a coupler here, but this is not the type that you can adjust. So I guess it is what it is, unfortunately. Yeah, right now, due to one ongoing work on the other side of the RVA, over there where the PSL is, uh, we don't have FSS stabilization servo. I think. I don't think we have a reference cavity at all, actually. They say power notification, IMC has no power. So yeah, I think everything is just down uh, right now. So there's no light from PSL whatsoever. And uh, yeah, here, the squeeze corner here, we use the sample light from the PSL corner. So if PSL, of, if reference cavity is down or if PSL is down, we're down. So that's it. For me, at least for now, I'm gonna go out and have lunch. And since I have to leave early today, chances are this is gonna be the end of our vlog. So, see you next time.